you know, legit 6'3", 200 pounds, you know, has room to probably put on and eat another 15, you know, can, can move around just, just as much with it. He you know, has good range for, for a guy that size, has good hips for a guy that size, uh, can cover ground you know, really well. Uh, he has a track background, so and he's run, you know, run can open up you know, pretty good for a guy his size. And so, man, I think he's an SEC safety. Supports the run really well as well, has good ball skills. We, we run a lot of uh, combination coverages, so which means that we're not just like a strictly man team or a strictly cover two team or a strictly quarter team. We may run quarter this play, next play we may switch and run cover two this play, you know, we may run man. Used to, you know, being able to, you know, switch, switch around different coverages and things like that. You know, it, it just, he's a physical hitter. You know, you watch his film, you know, he, he he always goes and tries to, you know, make sure that he finishes on his hit. I think real highly of the kid. You know, he's a humble kid, real smart kid. He's a team player. And what about the type of leader that he is? A lead by example, like guy when he does speak, um, it, it, it's, it, it's it kind of shocks some of the kids, you know, sometimes because he's, he's a quiet, humble guy. Um, but, you know, when things have to be said, uh, he, he'll speak up and say it. Um, but he, he's more of a, you know, lead by, you know, his actions uh, more than anything. And that's something that I admired about him. You know, a lot of kids, especially, you know, his position, uh, being recruited or, you know, in his position, you know, leader of defense, you know, coming this year, you know, he just, he just a guy that you can point to and say, hey, you know, this is the reason why he's receiving the benefits that he's receiving right now because of the work not only that he puts on the football field, but also in the classroom. They're a good role model in, in that, you know, that you never have to worry about his grades. Uh, you never have to worry about him being on time, you know, not being on time. I mean, you know, he's, he's always, always that. And so, uh, you know, which I, I applaud him for. You know, some guys are loud, loud, loud guys like Jonathan. But when he gets on the field, he strikes him, you know, as he lets his play talk for, for himself. So he's a mature kid, you know, in, in that regard. Is there anything that he needs to be working on before he moves on to the next level? Jonathan knows me. I mean, I, I'm always so like, especially playing defensive back. I played me in college, and, and I'm – I'm a strict one on always getting better. You know, one thing that we have a motto here is that you can get getting better and get worse. I think that, and and he can get better and keep working on all things. Um, you know, I, it's the one particular thing that stands out. You know, I mean, you know, his back pedal, you can always get better in your pedal. You always can get better in your brake. You always can get better in, you know, in your hips, ball skills as well. You know, and, and talking to Jonathan, he'll probably tell you the same thing. You know, he's a real kid. He'll probably tell you, yeah, I need to get better, better in all things. So, it's not one glaring thing right now that, that really stands out. He keeps that same mindset. You never leave his team over there.